Hey, homie, Cubaland. Hey, are vampires sucking the life out of you? Who are you calling sucker, eh? Nah, man. I'm talking about, you know, people who come around, you know? You know, you could be trying to, you know, go to church or, you know, you're kicking back with your familia, having a good time, you know? Or, you know, just right there, just kicking it, you know, with the homies talking about, you know, how the Lord has worked in your life. And then all of a sudden, you know, they come around, these vampires, you know, and they start sonic complainers. Manipulators. Liars. Gossipers. Slanders. Drama addicts. Blamers. You know, this kind of hint that they drain you mentally, emotionally, and even spiritually. You may end up angry, sad, frustrated, and even wind up becoming one of them. To help them, you must address the problem with love. Tell them, check it out. And they might trip, though. So what you do is you use scripture to pierce their heart and let Jesus in. Check yourself, too, because you might have some of these traits, and if you do... Let Jesus transform you. Some will take offense to the light of truth and turn on you. And guilt, try to guilt trip you. If they won't allow Jesus to transform them, they will remain in darkness and you must continue to walk in the light. All right, so I'm going to take you guys to Scripture now. 2 Samuel 22:29 reads, You are my lamp, O Lord. The Lord turns my darkness into light. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 119, 130, the unfolding of your words gives light, it gives understanding to the simple. Romans 13, 12, the night is nearly over and the day is almost here, so let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Amen. Orale, see you guys next time.